painter's mind. Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Painter's Mind podcast. My name is Verkas and I will be your host. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a Portuguese artist who paints in oils and I mainly focus on figurative art. I also do some watercolor and design, although I don't share that as often because I see it more as a hobby. This is a simple intro episode where I'm going to talk a bit about myself and the why I'm starting this podcast, but also what you might expect from it. So before I was a painter, I wanted to be an animator and I even sent an email to Disney when I was 12 asking them how I could enter the company. They answered and I got so excited that I just wanted to draw all the time. Later on, I saw that animation wasn't really what I was thinking it was. Uh, we had to work in groups and I had to learn a lot of online 3D work that I didn't want to put the effort into. I ended up going to graphic design and after being there for a while I saw that I didn't want to deal with the type of client graphic designers have. Also, my drawing teacher at the time showed us David Ockney works and I fell so much in love that I decided to pursue painting in college and I thought that I could have some more space for my own individuality and creative freedom. Right now I've been working and living in Lisbon and I usually sell my paintings. I give online classes and do in-person workshops and many more things like selling prints and doing hand-painted jewelry. Now, I think I will explain why I'm starting this podcast and what you can expect. I will be completely honest, one of the main reasons I started with this idea was because I'm kind of addicted to listening to other artists' podcasts and I thought it was a good idea to own one myself. I'm doing this for the fun of it mainly and... Some of my inspirations were John Dalton's, Ellie Torres, and Not Just an Artist by my lovely friend Margarida Pinheiro. Also, if I think about my creative process, it usually starts with writing. Although I'm a visual artist, my sketchbooks are full of poems and quotes that bring me inspiration and I wanted to have a place where I could share that. I'm hoping to bring talks about creativity, art-related topics, but also a mix of psychology and philosophy in the middle. Those are my main passions and I'm constantly studying them. Uh, especially right now, I've been focusing on archetypes, which I will talk a lot. I wanted to share some literature as well and maybe studio updates from time to time. The title idea started from this desire to share whatever crosses my mind and this will serve as a mind journal. So this first season I think I will just randomly talk by myself <laughs> but in the future I'm planning to do some interviews and, but I'm not really thinking about that for now. The logistics is difficult and for now I want to keep it low budget <laughs> and yes uh, the, by the time you hear this I think I will already have one episode for you to listen to I'm going to try to upload one time a week maybe more but uh, I need to see it depends on if I have enough time the third and last reason why I'm doing this a project. It's, I still have some insecurities around my voice. I always had them, but uh, I'm trying to change that. So I need a platform where I get so used to my own voice that it just becomes normal to me. I will tell that story in another day because I'm planning on doing an episode where I talk about finding our own voice as an artist and I remember um, this exercise that uh, I had to do in drawing class. We had to draw eight times a self-portrait <laughs> and I was a teenager. I was also insecure about other things and there's nothing better than normalizing uh, something. 
to the point where you just don't bother with it. I hope this podcast does that to my relationship with my voice. So I wanted to recommend a book before I end this and I thought that it would be a good idea if I recommended a movie or a book that I like it to read or see that relates to the theme of each talk and today the theme was just me doing a presentation of the podcast and also introducing myself so I thought it would make sense to recommend something that talks about the ego I brought this book, A New Earth, by Eckhart Tolle. It's a lovely reading. The author explores the idea of transcending a ego-based consciousness in order to achieve inner and outer transformation, and he also emphasizes the importance of living in the now uh, to align with our inner purpose. So I've read this a long time ago, and I wanted to read it again, I love these quotes that he says on page 182 that I have here with me to read it. And it goes like this. Knowing yourself deeply has nothing to do with whatever ideas are floating around in your mind. Knowing yourself is to be rooted in being instead of lost in your mind. This quote from the book uh, really spoke to me. Of course, there are many more that uh, I liked, uh, but as an extremely mental person, I feel I still need to learn how to not identify so much with these um, thoughts that cross my mental space. Although it's very counterintuitive, and if you are a mental person, maybe you identify with what I said. And yes, we talked a bit about insecurities today, and... For me, insecurities are precisely that feeling of being lost in our minds that the author refers. It's not a place of being. Uh, if you are in a place of judgment and insecurities is actually a form of self, self-judging. self Sorry. <laughs> so here my, my thoughts about this quote. And yes, here's my suggestion. If the quote resonated with you, give it a try but um, yes i think i will finish here and if you are curious to know my work you can find me on instagram and youtube just search vera Cass. thank you for taking a little bit of your time to listen and i hope to see you in the next episode